went hiking, took some more video. Let's see what else I learned. Well, folks, I had a blast taking that hike last week, so guess what? I did it again. Going to go over a few more things that I did on the trail with my phone and how I took the videos and some ideas that you might have uh, for what you want to do if you go hiking, too. And I really recommend it. It's so beautiful. Anyway, so some things that I want you to pay attention to while you're watching this video, because there's not a lot of direct instruction during it, so we'll talk about it now. So one of the things is the clips are short, and I didn't make as many long ones as I did in the first video. They're shorter clips, and they're pieced together. So with no further ado, as they say on YouTube, here we go. Well, it's another beautiful day, and I'm here at Pocahontas State Park in Chesterfield, Virginia, which is just south of Richmond, Virginia. And it says Beaver Lake Trail straight ahead. Here is Beaver Lake. Beautiful. Unlike our last hike, this one has got a little bit of elevation. About 200 feet for the whole trip. Not a lot. Not a big deal. And here comes one of my favorite elements of every trail, the little bridges. They're just cute. When you're out here and you're coming out to take some pictures or do some video like I am uh, on the trail, you can keep it really, really minimalistic. And that's what I'm showing you on these videos today. Coming up to our second bridge already. Here it is. There's a few. What these things are, they're not really bridges. They're set there to protect the wetlands from us walking across it so often. And they're fun to walk across too, and they're pretty. Another beauty, this one just disappearing into the forest. When you're walking across my beloved bridges, be careful if you're using trekking poles. It's really easy for the tip of the trekking pole to go between two of the boards, and if you keep walking, you could snap your pole easily uh, in that situation. So be careful. You kind of suck to break a trekking pole when you're out on the trail. the roots of the trail. Sometimes they can be obstacles. Sometimes they can be stepping stones, stairways. We're going uphill again. Beautiful stream. And of course, one of our favorite bushes. And we're visited by a little butterfly too. It's like a little beach. It's amazing. I think the trekking poles are a good idea. They weigh almost nothing. They're really, really easy to carry. And of course, in my case, I get the benefit of this wonderful uh, phone mount attached to it. And it keeps my phone at the ready at all times. I can snap anything real quick. It's great. Since the, ma the majority of the first half of the hike was uphill, guess what? The majority of this half is down. And I don't mind telling you, I like it. A little bit of relief <clears throat> after the uphill. This is what it's about. Just, just being here. That's the accomplishment. Hey guys. So Friendly hiker with a camera on. Indeed. Do you mind? <laughs> Do you mind us stopping? It's wonderful. Oh. You look great. <laughs> Smile. Hey everybody. <laughs> Stars of my show. 
I got one more uphill and I'm on it right now. And I'm not happy about it. It's not bad. Well, we made it and it's not quite as high as the highest point. And we're heading back down again. But man, that was mean. But this is the end of the hike and it was beautiful. We had some beautiful views. But we were escorted out of the park in no uncertain terms by this guy. We took his advice and we went to the parking lot. We made it. I made it. So there you have it. Snakes, spiders, and lily pads all in one walk. It was great. What a beautiful day. So if you had fun going on this little trek with me and meeting the people that we met on the trail and the critters that we met on the trail, give it a like. Like it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the video to the channel. Uh, you know what to do. Uh, help it grow. Start a community. Please leave comments. I need to hear from you because if I don't hear from you, I'm making stuff randomly. I want to make stuff for you. So let me know what it is, what it is you want to see. What's the most, most intriguing thing that you want out of this channel? And let me help you get that. I'll try to make those videos for you. So until the next time we meet, I'll see you.